with your hosts, URL Zone, Norbs, and Jesse Reekin. URL's Battle Rap Arena. Welcome, Jesse Reekin, and welcome, URL's Rarity on Street Star Norbs. Norbs, the big news going around. It's on every tweet, on every Facebook comment about that rapping in general. DNA got his toe back. Finally, God damn it, seriously. <laughs> DNA's been running around with no teeth since I've known him about, what, three and a half years now, so... What, I don't know. Does this throw a monkey wrench in Tech Nine's whole three round? <laughs> nah, I don't think so at all. I mean, I don't think Tech Nine was going to... was going to focus on um his tooth, and I mean, everybody's done that. Everybody's, yeah, you know, did the priorities thing, and they've done all of that. I don't think... He was gonna focus on that. Tech Nine doesn't have to focus on that too in that battle. Um, I mean, he might have had a, a joke here or there, but honestly, I think it actually now gives Tech Nine more to talk about. To be honest with you, so I mean, it, 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 honestly, if I was DNA, I would have never said anything and just showed up like that. Let him take the guess, you know what I mean? But now that he's played all his cards. Tech Nine gets to adjust and do whatever he wants, so it's gonna it's gonna be tough to beat Tech like that. I I agree with you. I I think he did it too early. Six four six. I know you had something on your mind for Norris. So what's on your mind? Six four six. Yeah, about the big announcement about um was one for Noda Lux and about the DNA, aka uh -huh. Mr. Perfect Smell Man. <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> and his uh, his announcement. You know, it was, I think it was too early too. What should I think about that? Uh -huh. I, I agree. I think, honestly, I think I, I'm going to predict a bar right now. I think Tech Nine is going to say, although you fixed your tooth, you're still ugly, nigga. Like, I can almost guarantee he's going to say that. So it's going to be a lot of things. There's going to be a lot of things that he's going to be able to work with, especially a vet like Tech Nine. You don't want to give him too much ammo. And I think he, I think, think DNA just did that. Yeah, no, I, I agree 100%. Way too early. He put Way too early of Street. <laughs> Yo, Loaded, what up? Beloved, what's happening? Hey, you, yep. me, us? What's up, man? <laughs> like, like, what's up? <laughs> what's up, man? This is, N this is S I N Y Just Real, man. What's good, man? Been a fan for years. I've been waiting to see you back in that ring. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, me well, too. we got the arguably the best person to ever step in the ring with us tonight. Loaded Lux. Go ahead, Lux. What's up, Chad? I appreciate that, man. That's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's cut the, let's cut the, let's get to the real chase right here. Loaded locks. There's a lot of anticipation behind you, Lux. What's up, brother? You know, I, me, you know, Lux, you know, me and Lux go back, go back now, a few years now. Yeah. And, um, Lux, what's up, man? Are you coming back or not? I'm what to do? I'm, I'm here. I know. I, I'm a man first. Got to be a man in the world, you know. Me, I, I'm doing this for um the audience, man, out there. Um, I told them I was coming back, and I I looked to oblige them, to see that, and see me back in that ring. You know, a lot of things changed since we was doing it. You know, it was. I mean, at one point you could make a phone call. You know, one the phone, two phone calls. Everybody get on the same page, and we get this thing done in a week or two. A lot of politics with the game now, but you know, I ain't knocking it because at the same time, I love where the game has taken in. I want to commend y'all, you know what I mean, with this whole situation too in terms of um, um, the radio show, man. It's doing well, you know what I mean? I tune in from time to time. And just for y'all being advocates for battle rapping in general, you know what I mean? So I tell and you I, that. And I appreciate that, but let's, let, let, let's, let's start it off. You, you, were, you were synonymous for, for the Lions then. You did, you've been doing it for a while, but people, even though you were giving people battles and what they wanted to see, everybody wanted to see Loader Lux in the ring. So, URL comes I mean, along after, you know, I'm, hold on, URL comes along after a while, and the buzz gets out there, and now you hold a press conference. Take us through that <coughs> and your mindset. What, in, in terms of the press conference? Oh, yeah, like, basically, oh, like, oh. well, let's start off with the lines, then. Okay. You started, you basically started something. Well, you, 
you put something out there that the game was missing on a consistent level. Right. What What's going on with the Lions then now, and what do you think the Lions then bring to the game at the time? Well, at the time when I, when I first um, got the situation started, what I had noticed was um, after Smack had left the scene, left the streets for for a bit and uh, was doing his urban distribution, there was no no longer a vessel unless you, you know, count 106 and Parkins, you know, us being called battle fans, we don't, you know what I'm saying? It was no platform for nobody to really go and do their thing. I mean, at least um, in our neck of the woods, in our, in our mm-hmm. vicinity, you know what I mean, to really come do their thing. So I knew a lot of brothers that I came up with and a lot of different artists that I thought was nice and deserved a shot, you know what I mean, to so what we do with this thing and, and putting it out there. So you know, I just wanted to get some, some, some faces in there that, that deserved a shot, and I think could influence others if they was out there to keep writing hard, you know what I mean? And, you know, mm-hmm. on that battle level. So that's, that was our... And to your credit, you, you put up, uh, you made a lot of stars. I mean, a lot of people that were, that considered top tier battlers or considered household names now, through the mm-hmm. lines then, like, <clears throat> like Goods, Head Ice, Arsenal, mm-hmm. uh, Tay Rock, Charlie Clips, and then, you're really responsible for a lot of that. But even though you did all of that for the culture, everybody wanted you to step in the ring. Right. And that's why we're here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to oblige them on this. Like, like I mean, like, you cut into the chase. It ain't on me right now, but, like, I've been dealing with a lot of different venues, and, you know what I mean? I gave in terms of me doing a press conference. If we can go back to that. Mm-hmm. What I was trying to get uh, situated was, from people was who I didn't want to come back and it seemed like a charity belt. You know what I mean? I, I really wanted somebody that they felt that was up to par and that can get in there and give me a fight. So I didn't want to just take, you know, so-and-so from around the corner of the block. I wanted, I wanted somebody that they said, okay, this is somebody who we now vouch for and my sisters who reigning right now since you ain't been in this thing, you know what I mean? Let's see how you do with them. Um, so that that was all reason for the press conference. I just wanted to get get it from from the audience because at the same time they make this thing, they they bring the interest to it. You know what I'm saying? And you know I just wanted to do that. So once I got the names that I got, then we started shooting for it. But you know, no. what the people don't know, they just see on the surface. You know what I mean? You see me gunning at everybody. I've been quiet for a long time, even after even starting that that whole campaign and drawing it out. Because when you come no, back. Right. From, doing this thing with behind the scenes and people want what they want, you know. It's a whole other game to that thing. So I ain't ducking nobody. Straight up, no chaser. I ain't ducking a soul out there. You feel me? Okay. I'm, I'm all there. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm You know what I mean? My question so, to you is this. You say you're not ducking anybody. I'm not saying you are. But you were out of the game for a while, and a couple big names did call you out in that process. Mm-hmm. Two in particular, Iron Solomon. And and Matt Hoffa, who did make that list that you did have. What took you so long to respond, and why did you do it in such a such a fashion that might have offended some of the fellow other battles? Well, we we battle was, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I don't I don't listen. We all got this because I, I I I don't know everybody personally, but I've okay. at least had the opportunity to run into them face to face. And I know we got respect as men for each other in terms of the craft and us being artists. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we understand the same type of entertainment and it's good entertainment, you know what I mean? Because it always, um, you know, feeds people and, and, and you know, you know, stimulating the minds and that, that go all around everybody who tune in the battle rapper. So we know that going. But, you know, at the same time, you know, we out there promoting the fight and, and, and different things of that nature. I hope I ain't offend anybody, but I ain't, I ain't never hit nobody where I think it, it'll hurt because I'm always, I'm always empathetic to everybody's situation. It wasn't nothing well, personal. I'm just asking everybody what's up. Let's, let's get it going. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even saying you offend anybody, but what I'm saying is it's kind of like when LeBron James had the whole press conference at ESPN and where he was going to take his talents to. A lot of his peers, uh, people that are considered superstars, felt a certain way when he did that. And, and vice versa, when... When you did that, maybe a couple of those guys, maybe Iron Solomon, maybe a Mav, 
um, maybe they, they felt a certain way. Do you think you disrespected the sport in a sense? What do you think about the people that do say that you did that, that you felt like you were bigger than the sport, kind of like when LeBron did it with the NBA? Oh, like, uh, well, look, I mean, nobody has ever brought it to my attention thus far that, you know, they felt the way about it. And if I was in their shoes, man, hey, it, it's free promotion. Can't knock that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Putting them names out there, I mean, and these are people I respect in terms of what they do. So, should feel offended, you know what I mean? I think they should, mm -hmm. should be, you know, get ready. If anything, mm -hmm. that, should, that should drive you. These certain things need to fuel the sport, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, hot, hot. sometimes Jay might be on a hiatus, you know what I mean? He might come back, drop something, keep the sport going, keep feeling it, keep everybody, you know what I mean? And tune to what's going on. I'm watching it, you know what I mean? And in a minute, it's about to hit the head with everybody in battle with everybody. Look what? If there ain't more players in there. And I've seen that from two, three years ago. You know, probably longer than that when we started this thing. There wasn't nobody yeah. else in the battle. So let's get everybody, you know what I mean, with, with doing all the work, the catalytic work we was doing, man, and finding all these new talents and putting them out there. Because it's, 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 it's all the artists, all the minds out there that get busy. But, you know what I mean, the world ain't going to know that. They don't see that. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. me doing what I was doing, and even up to this point, you know what I mean? i got to make i got to step back in the sense. You know, only because it, 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 it keeps it going. And then it's a whole new gang of people, you know what I mean, that I can see where they come through it. It's a world for real. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to so, step back and do what I was doing as a catalyst then because, you know, I, I, I felt like I didn't touch with those who was, you know, my peers, you know, or, or top tiers. And then, you know, I mean, I was still on the search, but at the same time, I just felt my energy needed to be to do that, to get to this point that we are now. It's a beautiful thing to be watching. It's, it's working. It's so working, you know. Now, but I don't, now let's, I'm let's, go through your, let's go through your list. I mean, your, your top three names at that time were, um, I think the first name was Iron Solomon. Mm -hmm. The second name was, I, I, I want to say Math. I think it was Math. The third name, oh, no, the second name I think was Mook. The third name was Math, and then I think it was Hollow. Mm -hmm. Is that list still intact, or do you have other people on your, your hit list? Has it changed um, over time? Well, yeah, I mean, only other new person in this, that's on the hit list now is Calico, because he made that move at the Summer Madness, and he's been continuing to campaign thus far about, about you know, stepping in there with me, and, you know. I, mean, I don't know what coffee they're going to cut from, but, you know, you can't just do that. You know what I mean? But... <laughs> He, he still was, like, on the back burner, but for real, for real, to keep it 100,000 with y'all. You know, everybody in some of the names that we've mentioned, and I'm not going to knock them, but everybody has their agenda, you know what I mean, and, and they need to do that as far as wherever they feel like they need to be in terms of their, their, their careers. And I can't, I can't never, you know, knock somebody's uh, journey to success if they feel like, you know, that's for them. So, you know, everybody got their own itinerary and they're doing different things, so... For real, for real, what it's looking like, it, it's probably going to come down to that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we had tried, you know, Mook was doing a rough rider thing, and, you know, Hanley has been doing that, and he was really kind of like really off battle rapping. So that was, that hit the head. Iron Solomon was working on an album. Um, Math would have got a shot, but Math wanted to take a Calico, and then Calico made that move when he did that. And then at the same time, he shouted my name. He can chalk that up as a, uh, as a win for him. You know what I mean? So I kind of moved math out. And then who else? We talk about how the dog. I ain't going to say, you know, that I even know the current situation with how the dog. Because, you know, people have been reaching out to him, and I ain't been getting no feedback. Only one who sound anxious is the kid, Calico. You know what I mean? To be quite so honest. Do you, think, do you think how the dog is avoiding it? I mean... I've seen him in person, you know what I mean? And I ain't going to say he said no, but you know when you adamant about doing something, you get it done. It's simple. Man, shit, you know? But, you know, like I said, I can't knock because I don't know. I ain't in that man's shoes. I don't know what he's trying to do with his thing, you know? But I respect him as an artist, a battle artist. I feel like he get busy, and I think it would be a great show. But, you know, I show him to decide. Whenever he's ready, I'm ready. Well, Tech Tech Nine recently called you out on his diss to DNA. I mean, how do you feel about that? And 
on, mm-hmm. on that same token, how do you feel about DNA getting his toothpick? Uh, hold on, I'm going to ask. Oh, say the first, say the first thing. Oh, hold the on, before you say that. Before, hold on, just hold on with that question. Go ahead. What is your list right now? If right now? Have, right now, who do you want? Who does Loaded Lux want to step in the ring with right now? That's what the people want to know. Um, Calico, Calico, and Calico. <laughs> everybody wow. else don't even matter. As far as I'm concerned, everybody else don't even matter. They can chunk that one up. Until, until, they, until they feel that they, they ready. I want, I want somebody to give me a fight. If you say you ready and you that at him and you said it, all right, let's go. Ain't no games, man. I ain't playing chicken over here at all. So that's my list, man, as far as I'm concerned. Until they throw any other variables in that equation, that's what it's going to be. But what's that thing y'all was saying about that? Uh, he said uh, Tech 9 had called you out in a, <clears throat> in a recent interview. In a diss track. Uh, in a diss track? Yeah, he, he did a diss song to DNA, and he said that he wants to battle you. Oh, okay. So the no tech nine, because I know beloved on that. That's that's coming from. That's that's a respect thing. I wouldn't mind that. I mean, but at the same time, it's like I keep. Nah, I gotta I gotta see tech on that one. I gotta I gotta see him on the on the man on the man to man with that. And if he and if he all if he all really you know wrapped up about it, hey man, I see. Right now, you know. My list still remains. I'm, I'm, I'm hope, hopefully, um, you know, some of the names that, that, that's been on that list since that press conference wind up getting it together and we doing something, you know. But the only other variable that's changed is the Calico situation. And then, you, you know. Think I, that's what you want, though. You want Calico. That's what you want. I mean, come on, young boy. You got my, you got my name in your mouth. See, some, and, and it's the way you do things. See, understand what I'm saying? I'm a principal player at the end of the day. You got to go in there with reasoning, and, 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 and you got to add logistics to it. I got a deeper purpose mm-hmm. to why I'm going to do that thing, if, if he want to do that thing. But then, you know, I, I still kill him because I already got a battle with the, uh, the kid O'Red coming up. And, you know, I, I'm going to see how that thing go. Because O'Red ain't no slouch neither. Hopefully, you know, Calico probably, you know, do his thing. But O'Red ain't no slouch. I know him more on, straight up. No chase it. Ball for ball, he get busy. So, I don't, I don't know how that's going to do. I'm going to go to that, though. I'm going to see how that thing looking. You know what I mean? But, you know, he had my name in his mouth, and he the only one stepping up like he's ready. So until the rest of them get it together, hey, man, do what I got. I got to do what I want. Now, you say Calico. Now, do you – I like a lot of people – I mean, I know a lot of people give you respect, but as many people give you respect, they do question your resume. And um, cool. I'm just, I'm just going to be gonna... honest. Can you battle Mook? Mm-hmm. Which was, which, was, which was a classic. Miles. And then from there, it kind of just goes from there. Do you think... Do you think that you deserve the respect you're getting? Or do you think people are, are giving too much credit? Do you think Calico will solidify that by you beating Calico? I mean... I'll put it to you like this. First, to answer your first one, um, we all know it's not about quantity but quality. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the show. It's always about quality over quantity. Um, I can't say that because everybody's going to look at Calico being an underdog anyway for all the work he done put in. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they, he probably still ain't considered because, you know, all things being real law, I mean, you can sit down with, with, I mean, with the players for real, for real, in a, in a closed off room somewhere uh, where it ain't no dressed up shit, no cameras on, or where we gotta be all that, you know, politically correct in Hollywood and shit. And nigga be like, yo, what you think, man? Lux versus Calico, and niggas would be like, that shit ain't no match, for real, for real. But at mm-hmm. the same time, at the same, I mean, he ain't lyrically or, or however you want to put it, it just don't, it don't seem like it's, it's in that same realm. Like, your so name was far from being real. Uh-huh. And, and that's my question. Like, I, I, no disrespect to Calico. I think Calico, uh, um, I think he's a good champ. I think he, 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 he's somebody that I, I can respect as an MC. But my question is, people want to see you in a fight. People want to see you, see somebody that really wants to come at you, somebody that's possibly on your status. 
like an Iron Solomon, like a Hollow to Dawn. Now, why wouldn't you push more for a Hollow battle than a Calico? Like, why? like that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. <laughs> see, look. <laughs> Damn, Cal, if Cal is an L Dean, they don't even see you in the same. <laughs> nah, but look, whoever, what it is is, I don't know if I done been there. I done, it's like, you know what I mean? Oh, man. I'm, I mean, there's no disrespect to Cal, but what I'm saying is, in the fans' eyes, they see Hollow as probably the you when you were doing it. And, and and in terms of popularity and in terms of people saying Manny Pacquiao Mayweather, that would make a little bit more sense as opposed to a Calico. And I'm not trying to, like, again, I'm stressing, I'm not trying to take none away from Calico. He is calling you out. But in terms of the mega fight, some of that right. is well, people, you know, in my man, opinion, would want to see how. I, I guess I'll take a warm-up fight then before, before uh, you know, many times. Hey, and look, maybe what they ain't fight many yet. You know how this thing goes. We gotta get that draw like that purse, like that's the next guy. But what it is, just for Wolf Will and, and Hollow ain't even on that 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 nigga fight level for Wolf Will. It's just that niggas been seeing them. Cause look, man, let's be all the way Will. Those who was doing it, and those who, who built for this, just ain't been in the game. Niggas ain't been seeing Mook. Niggas ain't been seeing me. Jones and Tobias, like like niggas who really get busy, they ain't been seeing. So if you okay, got that's, that's like <laughs> Jay running, mm -hmm. Jay one rap, big one, big ain't here, Park ain't here, and I'm not taking up away from Jay, but Jay probably would still be one of the, uh -huh. but at the same time it makes room for people to sit in them seats in their positions, you know what I'm saying? So, but mm -hmm. you see when Money May came back, it was unquestionable. Let me get right back to business. I, I, I agree with that, but now now comes the question of you did it in a different era. Now, the, there's a big question, and, and the Calico bring it up, and a lot of people have brought it up. How are you going to adjust to the lights? How are you going to adjust to the crowd? Is Calico or Hollow the Dung going to have an advantage over you just for the fact that they've already experienced the new light? Is that a big disadvantage for you? How will you adjust, and will you be able to adjust to that? What you mean? We've been battling. I mean, Lux, 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 let, let's be real. What? Lux, let's be real. You battle in, a, in, 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 the, in the, the clothing store against Mook. Classic. I'm not taking that away from you. You battled by 106 in Park against Newborn. I'm not even going to bring that up. You battled Miles again in the sneaker store, but you have not battled yet under that pressure. How will you deal with that, knowing this is your first battle back? Nah, nah. See, no. See, you. Ah, man, I put it to you like this. Because cause artists know, and then, and, then, and, then, and then other artists listening out there, they, they can attest to what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you can't not put, the, 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 I guess, the likes and the crowd and all of that being a variable, you know what I mean, trying to this whole equation of, yo, it's a new day and all that. But I've been on these stages before. When I say I've been on the stage before, things that we've done then set the stage for this. Now, in terms of performing, it's all tunneling. You understand? It's all tunneled in. Like, it don't matter who you put me in front of. I know what I'm going to do. I'm not. I'm never ever questioning me in terms of coming to do what, I, what I'm going to do. Let's believe I set foot on that stage, man. This whole thing has been calculated from day one. Mm -hmm. This ain't, okay. ain't checking this chest, my nigga. I don't care who you okay. put me in there. Who you put me on that stage with? Any of these niggas. Only one of the uh, factors, the man in the mirror. Not a beat to the day I'm in that grave. You better believe that on all levels. I mean, man, I mean, I talk to you. This ain't the same as even, you know, sell it to you. That's just, that's just me as a person. Mm -hmm. On and off the stage, man. Only person going to beat me is me. But is there a difference, though, now? The fan today that follows Battle Rap is a different fan that follows it when you were doing your thing, Lux. Okay, so I'm just going to say this, Kyle. How? Oh, oh, how are you going to face Hollow? If you face Hollow the Dawn in New York, Summer Madness, it's probably going to be 3,000 people in there. The strong majority is probably going to be there pulling for Hollow. How are you going to turn that crowd against Hollow when nobody's been able to do it yet? That, that, that's, that's, that's the full all question. That, all that who in the crowd shit don't mean nothing to me. When you got to the crowd, though. Huh? Listen, I'm not, I'm not coming for that. I'm coming for blood. Okay. I'm coming for his neck. I don't care about no crowd. Oh, you can sit me in there with 
two or three people. It's just me and that, that, that man there. That's sitting that saw. It's one-on-one. I don't even see nobody in the arena but him. And whoever that is going to be in front of me. You can tell all of them that. That's the way it's going to be. It don't matter if I'm a crowd. See, that's the problem. It's mm-hmm. when the jokes come in and all the other shit. And I, ain't, I ain't here for none of that. I ain't battling the crowd. I'm battling Hollow. I'm battling Calico. I'm battling... You see what I'm saying? She's the owner of a saying that they mm-hmm. ain't seen yet. I ain't knocking yep. what they doing now because it's beautiful because we all sponges as artists and it makes room for creativity and it influences okay. and inspires like all of that as a factor. But when it's on, he know what it is because the only one he's throwing shots at is me and I'm throwing them back at him. And he got the mm-hmm. thing back in it. All that other shit, the crowd and all that, we can worry about that shit when we... You know, it's all over and all that, and, and he's shaking hands and kissing babies and headed home. But all, all mm-hmm. that other shit, when I, when I go to prep, it's just me and his neck. That's it, and that's all. So you can't talk to me about no crowd and all these different lights and all that camera and all that, that fake made-up Hollywood shit. I don't care nothing about that. You stick them niggas yep. in the ring, and I'm going to put them in the grave, and that's it. I like, that's what I like to hear. I, I, that's what I want to hear. I don't want no bullshit. I want to see you come with it. I'm just being real. Now, is this going to be a one-time thing? There's a, there's a lot of people that want to see you. I, I can give you a list. There's a lot of people that are blood hungry. They want loaded locks. And tell them I'm missing to what? I, I mean, I, I've spoken to people today about it. I mean, is it going to be a one thing? Or are, are you going to come into the ring numerous times to take out everybody that's calling you out? Are you going to Are you going to set your hit list and, and ask everybody off? I would, I, would love to, I would love to do it and do it again. You know what I mean? Do it and do it and do it. I just got to get these niggas to the stage. It ain't me. You see, I ain't backed up and lit. I ain't even talking. I ain't even talking about nobody's names or none of this shit. So niggas know why I'd be on the phones with it all of that. I ain't doing none of that, man. Because at the end of the day, one thing is to campaign and do all that other, sh- that other shit that where we make it look good. And it's another thing when you head on with somebody and we, and we as men shake on some things. You give a man your word, and then, you know, that's a whole nother thing, see? Hey, man, so I ain't even, if, if niggas ain't going to do it, I don't want to, you know, put no pressure on nobody, but then you ain't coming, you ain't giving me your all. Only one I've seen up there with that tenacity, it sounds sound like you, baby, the young boy Calico. Well, well, now, well, hold on, hold on. That's what other people take shots at you. Let's, let's, let's be real. You came out with a diss track against Math Alpha. Recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. Point. No, no, listen. And I know, that there's a, I know there's a strong dislike between the both of you guys in terms of comp- competitive-wise. Is that a possibility? Yeah, but Matt's got to come back with his shit together. No, some more things being real. You let this young boy come in here, man. I don't even want to talk about that shit. That, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, Lux. That's what that's what I'm telling you about the crowd. How are you going to turn the crowd? Because you know it is. Nah, it is but I ain't talking about the crowd. I'm talking about I'm analyzing my performance. Okay. He ain't put that work in. He's supposed to get out. He's supposed to spank that little nigga like true story. Like I'm mm-hmm. listening to bar for bar, man. Like like how he's going in there, give it to him with that. Mm-hmm. He I, he really sounded like he thought that shit was going to be a walk in the park, and he got his ass handed mean, to him. Okay. All things being real, he been here. No, that's fair. That's fair. This is what I'm telling you, no, I don't care nothing about you know, the crowd and this thing and the lights and the camera and how they edit it and then I don't care nothing about none of that. It's when I go to work, okay. man, I go to work. That's it, and that's all, man. A lot of them niggas up. That, that, all I'm saying is this. I want to see you back in the ring. I'm tired. Like, I'm not saying you're... I'm not trying to sit here and say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ass though. Like, like I said, you had two battles. I want to see it. I think you're great. I think you're you're, you're talented. But I want to see you put your money where your mouth is. Lust. I I respect you. I think you're dope, my nigga. But I want to see you adjust. I want to see you battle Aver. I want to see you battle Math Alpha. I want to see you battle Calico. Mm. Well, these are battles you got to get one, man. You just gotta get them. You gotta get them on the horn. You gotta. You got me right here, man. You know, I ain't got on the show. You just gotta get them to the arena. It ain't on me. Once again, but no, nah, no, nah, I, I, I commend you, man. 
for you know even just keeping being an advocate for battle rapping and yes man I'm 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 all there. You know what I mean? But you just gotta talk to them. It ain't on me anymore. I mean, Cal, I mean, I spoke to Cal. Cal said, yeah, from my understanding, I'm going to quote you what he told me, and this is he's put it on interviews, you're old and you're overrated, and you haven't done anything in the game yet. Summer Madness, can we settle this? What? What, you Summer Madness? Yeah. 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 No, 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 like, like look, this one's going to be, if it's Calico, like, you know, forget what he told you, you got to tell it to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, he, he got to he's put that out. He, he said that in his battles, though. I'm just calling yeah, stuff. He can't, listen, he can't back down at all. You know what I'm saying? If, if it's gonna be what it's gonna be, man, he got he got it. You know he going his whole shit is just <laughs> so many. Like he can't ever battle again if he back down. But at the same time, my man first, he got to say that to me. Like you know me, your luck. Like I'm gonna take that battle with you. And then they always go from there. Cause I ain't you know what I mean. I try just I'm bringing him up. He wasn't even a factor. But these other niggas ain't gonna give me no fight, so I ain't, you know, if he if he that serious about what he wanna do. I so you don't think any of these guys are gonna be able to give you a fight? You don't think? That's not Aver. what I'm saying, you know. That's not what I'm saying. That's what you just said. I'm saying, okay, I'm saying? saying they don't want to. They don't want to do nothing. That shit sounds good. So, I don't care what niggas talking about. When the shit is going on behind the scene, niggas don't want to do nothing. So you feel what I'm saying? Okay. So how do Don is scared? That's what you saying. Brother, don't don't put words in my mouth. I, I hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lux, I'm, I'm, you just said when it's all to it, it's a lot of talk, and they're not doing anything. That sounds like Brother. you're saying they're scared. No, That's say what I said. Don't say what it sounds like. I'm saying. Say what okay, I said. Okay, say exactly. Say exactly what you said, Lux. Which part? Hello? I said a lot tonight. Oh no, no, that last part, what you just said, what you said, I misquoted you. I don't want to misquote you. So what I'm saying is repeat what you just right. said. I didn't say the man was scared. Okay. I said the man, you know, I, I'm not, I don't understand what his itinerary is looking like. I said mm -hmm. I, he didn't say no. When I seen him, he didn't say no. So I'll leave Did it at that. Yes. He said we'll some shit like we'll see. So, you know, you can take that like I'm taking it. Uh, and okay. that's it and that's all. I'm, I'm not saying the man that. saying no. But, hey, I ain't got, you know, he got his agenda and I got mine. And I, res I respect that. I respect that. I just want to see you put in that work. Because Mickey Fax tells me you're the best to do it. You know what I mean? Me and Mickey mm -hmm. go back and forth about it. I want to see you do it. I want to see you prove it. I think you don't. I want to see if you're able to do it just to this era. That's just me. I want to see you be able to do it. I would love to see Jones be able to do it. I'd love to see um, Mook be able to do it. That's just just me as a fan, right? You know what I mean. But I know I know the fans got a lot of questions for you, Lux. So I'm, I'm gonna let you off the hook for a couple minutes, and um, <laughs> you know, some questions for the fans. Yeah, definitely. We got a, we got a few fans on the line for you. Actually, Lux, the DNA DNA getting his two fix. Was it smart to release it this early, or yes or no? Nah, nah. I, I mean, strategically. I mean, I heard y'all talking about it. You should have waited. We've been good. Should have waited. Should have waited. <laughs> seven six zero. You're live on the air with Loaded Lux. What's your question, seven six zero? Hey, what's up, Lux? What's happening, beloved? Oh man, this is killer. I want to know if there's any. I got two questions. Is there anybody out there who you wouldn't battle? Well, wouldn't battle. No, yeah, like, because a lot of these niggas be letting the friendship and all that shit get in the way. Is there anybody out there who you wouldn't battle? Because I want to see oh, you battle. Oh, oh, on that note, um, I'll put it to you like this, shit, real quick. Um, you get enthused about certain fights. It's almost like, okay, if you had a brother, you know what I mean? You know he was dead wrong, but when you're whipping mm -hmm. on him, you kind of hold back because that's your brother. It's mm -hmm. almost like that. I, if that. If that's a good analogy, you know. So, but I, it ain't nobody that I wouldn't battle, no. Okay, and and and, and Calico, that that uh, that ain't even a match. I, I don't think it's a good look. I want to see you battle Arsenal, T Rex, somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody right. with bars, somebody that's gonna fight. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Hey, I feel the same way, champ. You just gotta start hitting them twitters up. You'll tell them, yo, man, why you, you know take luck. Right, okay. <laughs> right. 
262, you're live on the air with Loaded Lux. What's on your mind, 262? Uh, what up, Lux? What's happening, champ? Um, I just want to say, kind of what, what, what Norris was saying, like, I know you think you're a legend, and you are. I know you think you're one of the best and all that, but, you know, my motto is, if you're the best, you know, you got to jump in the ring and prove it. And to me, it sounds like you only want to battle maybe four or three people, and everybody else you think it just ain't worth it. And, you know, just like at Summer Madness last year, everybody thought Matt Hoffa was going to kill Calico, and, and you see what happened. It didn't happen. So just because somebody is an underdog don't mean that they can't come out and win. So I, I just want to say, so I just want to say that just because you only think maybe three or four people is worthy, and everybody else, you know, it just ain't worth it. I think at any given time, anybody can can put up a good fight, and you, you never know. Uh, that night, that person may be the best winner. So, so I just want to say, you know, before you just eliminate everybody else and just focus on Hollow and Calico and nobody else, just just think about that. And like any given night, anybody can beat anybody else if they're on their A game. Right. All right. Um. I don't, I'm not sure if there was, was a question in there, but I'm going to say that um, this one wasn't people that I chose. After the, we had got a lot of uh, hits about who they thought I should battle, those were the, the names with the most numbers. So these were the numbers that uh, names that I could. Well, I mean, I, I guess the question was, is there anybody that you would battle that's not hollow, math, calico, or aver? You know, somebody that might be less lower on the totem pole, but, you know, that you think, you know, could put up a fight? I guess that would be the question, besides those main, big-name people. Because it seems like you focus on the same three or four people. Well, look, it's probably a lot of, well, I can't say a lot of dudes that, that I, it's a lot of people out there that I feel are, are worthy opponents, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or mm -hmm. it would make for a good show. But right. if, if you if you saying this is the people's chance, I want to battle who you say is the best. If you tell me that's who... Is, is 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 taking names and, and, and you know dishing it out. You know, I want to battle him. I mean, when you go to write, I mean, whether if you if you dribble in a basketball, or if you're writing music, or you want to know who the best is, and you want you want to aspire to, to if not be as good as he is, be better. That's what all of us have dreams to do, or whatever field we're in. If I'm not mistaken. Right. Right. I'll give it that. Best, I mean, that's who the people said that they thought were the best. So I'm going go at the best. Six one four, you're live on the air with Low Deluxe. What's on your mind? Six one four. Hey, what up, Lux? What up, Lux? What's up, champ? Hey, um, first off, man, these, these new cats is killing me, man. First off, it ain't no argument. I heard what Jack said earlier. There ain't no argument. You are the best to ever do it, man. There ain't no argument. I don't know if people been following you. I don't know what they. It's just all new niggas, but you the best that ever did it, man. Especially oh, when we, we we've been following you for. I mean, you the reason we watch Battle Rap out here. But um, I'd have just a quick question, man. I mean, not who you want to battle, but who's been impressing you lately? Like, who's, like, the top three or so cats that's been impressing you lately? Um, For real, I get a kick out of I like the kid disaster. For real, for real. Oh, okay. In terms of battle, uh, uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna sweat. That He do it for me. Like, I would like to, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how this thing gonna go with this list that they got for me right now, but I, I like yeah. him. Well, I, I think he, um... He does, when he comes to do what he do, he gives his all, so I can commend him as an artist doing that thing. So I get to keep watching him. All right, bet. Yo. Yo, what's up, man? Hello? Yeah. We got notice there? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Lux, we still got you? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what's up, yeah, notice with you? I was saying, like, there's a guest trying to call in right now. He wants to, he wants to chime into the conversation. I just want to make sure you good with that. There's a guest. Yes. One of your fellow battlers. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna bring him on the line right now. Hang on one second. All right. All right. While we get that call on the line, uh, Lux, how about a you and Murder Mook rematch? Oh man, that'd be that'd be like. You know, I, that's that's been in the air as well. You know what I mean? No lie. If you're talking about that, uh, me and Mook even uh, had the pleasure of speaking about that. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> it would make for one hell of an evening. I'm going to just say that. He's one of the, the, the battle artists that I truly respect, you know, in terms of being in the ring with him and, and knowing what that fight was and then perceiving it now at the point we are now. Definitely would be a hell of a night. 
Do we have Norv's back with the gas? Norv? Norv's still trying to get the gas. Uh, one, 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 one. Hold on one second. Uh, Jesse, I got a special yeah. guest. We're just calling yeah. uh, the interview. It's uh, Matt yeah. Hopper. Yeah. What's good? What's shaking? Brooklyn in the building. What's popping? <laughs> that's Hoffa. That's yeah, that's me. That's me. What's good, sir? Yo, what's, what's, what's going on, man? Welcome to Battle Rap Arena. What's What's going on, Jesse Weekend? Go ahead. You and Lux. Yo, Lux, what up, sir? Man, what's going on, champ? How you been, brother? Uh, living, loving, loving, living. You know. Trying you talking about jumping in that ring? Yeah, you know. You can watch it. Come on, man. Shit. Let's go, no, man. You still doing that dance, son? You still doing that Harlem shake, shaking out of battles? Ah, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> we doing that on all What's on your mind? Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If, if we ain't talking about you getting back in the ring, then... Then, then, then who we talking for, right? Then what the, who yeah, we exactly. talking for? So, so what you talking about? You know I'm getting back in that thing. You know this. I seen you. I told you the same thing. I'm, you know, I'm waiting for a fight. Now, are you asking me what's up with me getting in the ring with you? That's what you asking me. I mean, you know that 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 response to the to to the joint I did, that little that little musical thing we did for a second. That was that was kind of weak, son. That was kind. I, I told you this like too. It was, it was a little weak, son. I was a little disappointed, son. So you I don't know what I'm talking about a battle. Because I was a little disappointed. I hate to be the one to, like, show the world that Floated Lux ain't got it no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, that that would just play with my conscience. You know what I mean? Oh, cut the shenanigans. <laughs> what well, it is, man. It wasn't, you know, I hit you with something that I felt was worth with you. You know, you only gave me, what, two, two, if not even that? Every time you, you know, you talk about me, you only give me, like, two, three balls. So, hey, man, I'm going I'm to give you what you give me, man. Uh, Love that. Dude, this dude playing, man. Yo, what we talking about, man? What's going on? Norris, what up? What we talking about trying to get I'm me a mean, fight. I mean, uh, we're, we're basically looking for for for, uh, for Lord of Lux's fight, and he did mention you on the list as the third of the third um combatant. Yo, oh, that 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 press conference, my man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you come. Okay, so all right, I just gotta figure out the yeah. thing you want. That well, listen, that, uh, hold on. crazy, son. That you want to you wanna, you wanna, you wanna line with jokes and shit like that? No, right, I'm, just, I'm just fucking around. Yo, look, come on. You know what it is, man. I'm fucking yeah, with you. I know. You know what I'm old head. You're supposed to be cool about this shit, man. No, you know we saying? always, man, always. Is there a possibility, Lux, that we can get you guys in the ring? You guys are definitely are competitive. And he's on the line, obviously, for a reason. Is no, listen, I'm a, I'm a, no, 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 you know, come back in the game on because I I feel like that would be too ugly and I fuck with Lux. I really do. I really do. You know what I'm saying? I consider this dude like, you know, we we the niggas that really spearheaded this whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really was was the top dogs. Not not saying it was, but you know what I mean? Like, you 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 go back in time. Like, you watch the Smack Taste. Like, this is URL now. It wasn't Smack. Like when it was Smack. Like. One yeah. battle, that one battle was classic, and that shit ran for a whole year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out there. You know what I mean? She's That's crazy. about his new shit. 